Yo, what's up, guys? It's the 8-Bit Blackstock, back playing Frambo. Okay, in the last episode, I helped exercise that... that chick or whatever. I helped exercise those sisters or whatever, and I got Mr. Kitty, or Mr. Midnight. Sorry, Mr. Kitty. Um... I don't know where exactly to go. Can I go up here now? Well, oh, maybe I have to go. I don't know, man. I'm sick. Don't worry, I don't have like the Rona or anything, but oh, my stomach is sore and my sinuses are messed up. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. Oh, is this going to be that toter game? I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet. Oh, God. Mr. Midnight, do you have some ideas on how to get out of this place? I'm sorry I don't. Maybe somebody else has some ideas. Okay, I'm confused already. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace, but how will you get across there? We can't swim. It's afraid of water. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny, even though my body is quite moldable. It would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Um, okay, uh, so what about that? What if I take my pills? My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. Okay, so that they're just saying the same thing. Oh, so what do I gotta do? What do I have in my, what do I have in my inventory? Baking soda? Oh god, do I use the baking soda on the frog? Take this toad, it may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here it goes. Ha! Ah! I'm so cool, it worked, it really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Oh, but yeah, I'm, I'm sick. I don't have the coronavirus or anything, but... Uh, my stomach is killing me, and my sinuses are all messed up, but the show must go on. Sir, sure, Fran, I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. He wants to help. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. All right, if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Aw, yay! And this book was with it, too. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Well, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Ugh! Okay, is this going to be another one of those mini-games? Oh, the mini-game music! Oh! Okay, so can I not hop on those? Okay, cool. Does he just go back and forth? Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, um... Oh, as if. As if! Oh god, there's nothing for me to go on! Oh no! Fluff! Okay, so I'm thinking you gotta wait. I just jumped too quick. No, I- aw. Fuck. Okay. Jump on this. Can I jump backwards? 
Oh, yay, I got a raft, okay. I don't think you can jump backwards. Oh, perfect. Alright. Hop on this. Hop on this. Hop on this. Hop, hop! Oh, toad on board! Okay, I got an achievement. I guess that's it. That was fun. Well, wait a minute. He's swimming right now. Why did it kill me when I fell in the water? Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Okay. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Alright, Fram, what should we do now? Find the way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Oh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, Kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Is there anything I can... Are you a stone? I thought that was going to say, are you stoned? Oh, that would have been funny. Oh, wait, go back here. What if I take my pills? Oh, lovely. Oh dear, a baby skeleton. I guess they didn't make it in time. Oh, that's so sad. Oh yeah, what about that book? Oh, I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth and relays that relays silently in the unknown. Oh my god, my name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that are others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence. Huh. That sounds a lot like me. Interesting. Oh! I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Ugh. Ugh! Cry because it hurts. Hmm, creepy. Huh, the monster's making other people sick, too. Oh, I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. His name is Remor, Prince of Darkness. Oh my god, from the fifth reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to his existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom. Inside my head. Ugh, I can see myself around the other me. Tell me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while I'm pronouncing the words, kill yourself. Ugh. And I've tried, hypnotized by his words, but there's always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. What the hell? I meet a shadow for the first time. It talked to me. Ugh. Their race is called the Kamales. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Ugh, after seeing the Kamalis reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Late last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kamalis transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing after a few minutes. A bright and peaceful being was raising, rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could be my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. Ethirsta waits. All Valakas must go where after waking up. If you wish to see me, the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded. Oh my god, I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I could recall Reamer from the fifth reality. If there's a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Athirsta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret 
the fact that I didn't accept the Valaka's invitation. Since I saw the Valaka's, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is your rhythm. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I got a visit from my son Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me. Because my son, he thinks I'm insane. Oh my god, my body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws because there are not only laws but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without these laws, we wouldn't exist. I think I have to say some chemistry to understand what he means. Oh my god, we wouldn't, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground calm while dying. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside. In the same spot, the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. Ugh, the bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creatures. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant that bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platyles and white blood cells, but at very high speed. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in Etherstha are varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality, insects came later, I learned their language and numerology. Holy fuck, okay. The Great Valakos is the beginning of the first- oh my god. The Valakos body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngster reaches age, that number, they are crowned with the shield. Zyar creation of the Great Valakos, King of Etherstha, second reality life. Being in Etherstha feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off of the trees and it's water whispers, it's wisdom while you drink it. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence, resides in the human world, third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter consciousness practice of will. Oh my god, center seti, the end of vibration when both ends of opposites are the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality, death. Mabuka is the end of light. Oh my god. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and is everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. What in the world? I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments, that's why they look like they're growing hair and their the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. This is really weird. Oh that feels so cool. Oh yes! Okay. I hope my body can survive the journey. Oh shit. Gravity collects particles to create new ones, and its creative force with energy is... Oh, what is this? The drawing to the left looks like an antenna. Oh no, somebody ripped out the rest of the book. Okay, well anyway. That was that. <coughs> oh, hi. Sir, are you curious insects that get stuck? They are sleeping. Maybe they are not stuck. Well, I hope they have their hair comb. <laughs> Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Aw, oh, same, bro. Um, I can go first, all right? Then you follow me. All right, kitty. You're so sweet, I'll be right behind you. Is something gonna happen to kitty? Oh my god, something's gonna happen to kitty, isn't it? Mr. Kitty, oh. Fran, wait! Oh! Oh my fuck! Whew. Oh my god, my sick heart can't take this! 
Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. Holy crap. I got you. Oh my god. Just one second. Scared the mucus out of me. I got you. Oh, Mr. Kitty, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Mr. Midnight, you dropped me. Oh, oh, and now I'm falling. Don't be afraid, friend. We always fall. Okay. And after the pain, we will always rise. Alright. Oh, who's this now? Oh, no. Not another creepy bitch. Oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Well, no, that can't be the end of the game. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Oh, okay, this is like, uh... In the third Lord of the Rings movie when Frodo sees Galadriel. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? Please, Aunt Grace, it sucks in here, they're mean. You just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. Dick, you will soon understand. Will I understand? I don't think I'll understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please, please. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, oh! Friend, it's time for your new medicine. What in the hell? Huh? Okay, bye. What? Oh god, what the fuck? Oh my god! I'm Mr. Kitty? Oh, no way, I'm Mr. Kitty! Or Mr. Midnight, that's so cool. Ooh. What an ugly tree, I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty! Kitty, stop it, what are you talking about? Oh my god, Fran is a tree! What is it, my dear? Of course it's me, who else would it be? Fran, you are a tree! Don't be silly, help me get up. I- I- Wait just a second, where are my hands? Why can't I move? Because you're a tree! But how, oh my dear, this is the, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this, I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night Mommy and Daddy died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Oh. Oh, we're in fucking, um... Oh, we're in, um... A, th a thirst star or whatever? Be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Halula hoka cola. Stop it. I'll scratch you. Halula roma igni. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty. Why is this happening to us? Hola. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hola igni vanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about it. I'll see what I can do, Fran. All right. So I got to find my purse. Fran's shoe. You guy's an asshole. What's up, fam? Okay, bye. Oh, great, another fucking puzzle. Perfect. Oh. Okay, maybe it's not a puzzle. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'll take the stone. It's shiny. Oh. I've seen similar mechanics. They circulate. Can I use crystal with... Can I clog it? Okay, cool. There we go. I'm so smart! Yes, grab the purse. 
Only because I'm the best. Use the book. I won't do this. Well, what am I supposed to do? Oh, Fran, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing, you are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the sir who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human being is. I really hope he does. Alright, I'll try. Oh, uh, of course. Oh, bye! Oh, where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? Hey! Give me back, Fran! They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Galopma, galopma. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is that uh, from the book, that Athirsta or whatever. Chapter 3, Vegetative State. Ooh, I don't like how that S doesn't have a capital. That should have a capital. Vegetative State. Great. Oh my god, what the f... I feel like I've seen this before. Goska, yeah, yeah, I, I can't understand. I can't. Welcome, creature. My name is Yar. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes, finally. Words I understand. My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Help me, please. I'm a girl. Ho, ho, ho. No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Ipten Oh, whatever. I don't know what that means, but... Does he eat that fruit? Oh, what the hell? Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of truth, very common of the Bow family tree. Oh, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. You mean Mr. Midnight? A cat, protector of gates, interesting. You can see all that? Can you see all that in a seed? Be quiet! <laughs> oh shit, okay. I can see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean? By except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, friend. Oh, this is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now, it's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of your existence! Oh my god, there must be a way am I dead or something dead, what do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree, I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Aw, that's so precious. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Help me get back home, then I'm not dead, you have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you, what is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should be back, should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha ha ha, you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king, the king of Athirsta, yeah. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this, why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir, but the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time. I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see you are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. Look at her eyes, dude. They're so creepy. These are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Huh? Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Ew! 
Bros. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Oh, but that's okay, because I have the book. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me to understand what I say, human lady. Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. That is incredible. Did you understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sounds. You'll see everything as our own world very soon, no doubt about that. Oh my god, my stomach, you guys. You'll do fine, kitty. And so, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, friend. I love you. Oh, that's so creepy. Just this big, big beetle thing. Oh my god, the artwork in this game is ridiculous. So good. Oh, it's snowing outside. Oh, shit. Okay. What in the world? Good day, my name is Polintraz, and I'm your doctor today at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran, I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human? I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. We'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me, I'm the beast. Let's go. Oh, the humor is so good. Oh, it's the pink stuff. It's that pink liquid. Okay, I'm gonna be right back, guys. I'm just gonna go get myself some water with ice real quick. I'm back, guys. Got myself some icy water. Hoping it'll help with my stomach. My nose, on the other hand, is hopeless. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you, this is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Velakas created it. Ooh. It has the purest water in the whole universe. <clears throat> oh, wow, that sounds amazing. So when do I get my legs and arms back? Oh, right. <clears throat> we wait until the water purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. All right. So is this Volokas. Haven't you heard about the five realities? He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to Athirsta, and his blood made his water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Ithrista? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But Sir Doc, dude, do you know why I became a tree? Yes. Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way, your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being friend, you wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It was actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. Mm. But it's dangerous to have you here, it makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself, wow, but Palantras, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. Oh. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see, well... 
When you travel to a Thursday, you open a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. Aww. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh my god. So sorry, you guys. Oh, little girl. You are so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Mm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran, from a thirsta? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm like the tree, Fran. Oh. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean? <coughs> Excuse me. Fix them. What's wrong with them? Nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best Doctor I've ever had, and you are fluffy and beautiful. I had another Doctor before. His name was Doctor Dern, and he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Oh my god, this is so weird. I don't know if it's because I'm sick and I'm feeling a little loopy. But, oh my god. This is weird. Show is your king. What a nice Thurstacian you become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty sometime. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright. Ah, oh, do you like that? Ha ha ha. Here I am. Friend, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great Ethersthenes Ethers you've become. Thank you, King, sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry, Palantros will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard? Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where's the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Haha, <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, friend. The great, lives are, the great wizard lives in the great mountain, Kotrem. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around and follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great Thizda day and good luck finding the Great Wizard. Oh, hi, guy. Oh, he left on that guy. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature, Kitty? That's Palantras. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Yeah, yeah, I got my purse back. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain, mountain Kotrem. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. That's so cool. Alright, well... Oh, my hand's a little stick now. My hand's a little stick now! That's so precious. Alright. What's up, beetle buddy? No, no, you can't get in. It's closed. I didn't know. Oh, closed? I didn't know what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back and follow into, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantros? That's me. Palantros gave me arms and legs, yes, and also a head. That's very positive. 
Hey, hey, yes. But why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Ithirsta, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh. Okay. Oh, so you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. <laughs> well, I'm curious, that's why. Oh my god. I guess you're not from around here while well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye. Um, what's this? Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. I think the tiny bees would love these flowers. What is that? Hmm, this is a sign looks like a tree. And we're out! <clears throat> Alright, well, I'm probably gonna leave this one here. My stomach's really bothering me, and I don't want the quality of the, the Let's Play to go down just because I'm sick and I'm dying! So, uh, yeah. This has been Franbo Part 3. This game is insane. The artwork, the artwork, just, ugh, ugh. But anyway, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to play it for yourself. I'll also leave a link to the Franbo play playlist so you can watch the other episodes if you're watching this one first. And, um, yeah, if you liked it, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, it helps me out a lot. Oh, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm gonna go die, probably eat some chicken soup. Don't worry though, I'll be back. Until next time, I'm the 8-Bit Black Sock. This was Frambo Part 5 and I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces!